hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is ivy and i'm a makeup artist based in asaba delta state nigeria um in today's video we're going to be discussing the five plus one eye brushes that you've been needing as a beginner for the eye makeup series that we're going to be starting in this video um if you want to know what those brushes are you want to know what the series is all about please stay tuned and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel down below and let's get over into the video so guys i've been getting a lot of requests for uh, makeup tutorials for beginners okay um someone actually sent me a message and was like okay i love your makeup i love everything but i mean it's just too overwhelming for me i'm just starting up in makeup i don't even know what you are talking about most of the time i don't know what brushes i need i don't know what products i need i don't know what tools i need i don't know what goes where how and when how like it's just too overwhelming for me please would you take out the time to just do a series for beginners like target so that we know and then we learn and grow with you you know and i thought about it and i said okay um here i am just sitting and assuming that everyone who is coming to this channel already knows a thing or two about makeup whereas they actually might be newbies who do not really know anything about makeup and they are looking to learn a thing or two you know so i decided to do this um beginners makeup series i'll be starting with the eye and then gradually we'll go over into the face um because i would not want the videos to be too long i'm going to be breaking them into parts you know for the eye makeup series we might have up to like part seven or part eight and then when we are done with that we'll start with the face makeup series okay now this is our beginners eye brush guide no. so we're going to title this our beginners eye tutorial 101 part one then we'll also have like beginners eye tutorial 101 part two beginners eye tutorial 101 part three you know up, up till part seven okay so that when you click on those videos you see that it's eye tutorial you see the path and if there's any part you missed you can always go back to the previous part and watch to you know come up to speed so in this series the first part that we're going into today i'm going to be discussing with you guys the five plus one which is actually six but five plus one just sounded better in my head <laughs> The five plus one makeup brush that you need as a beginner okay now i'm going to list this and start from here so that before we go into the eye tutorial you already know what brushes you need i'm going to be filming another video on the products and you know so on and so forth so that you can go ahead to get your tools get your brushes get your products whatever you need so that by the time we're going into the eye tutorial like you no know, application process you already have your things down and you can just go over with me um, i'm going to be doing a video on the brushes today subsequently we are going to be doing a video on products we're going to be doing a video you know um explaining the parts of the eye you know the makeup goes on what what is the crease what's the transition area what is the brow bone and all of those we're also going to going into um um i am um, i shadow application you know using one eyeshadow all over the lid how to do that to eyeshadow you know like beginner related things so guys the content that you really like to see please can you subscribe down below and stay tuned and then um i know that you're going to learn a thing or two from this okay right here right now i have six brushes right here which i like to turn five plus one brush that you need for any eye look as a beginner okay now i have so many many more brushes and at times you might see me reach for one or two other brushes one thing you should know is that with any of these brushes you should be able to get any eye look and be up to speed okay now the first brush here i'm not going to be calling the brush names um or maybe i should you know maybe i just showed <laughs> but i'll be telling you what they look like so that 
um, you can actually get any brush that looks like any of these brushes do okay it must not be the exact same name because some of these brushes are really pricey and getting these brushes might actually be out of the budget for some people but um i'll just tell you the brushes i like the ones that work for me and if you want to go ahead and get those then you can or you can look for brushes that are similar have similar shape and then go on from there and also bear in mind that uh, most of these brushes i'm going to be showing you guys today are for people that have like my type of eye shape you know i have a fairly average looking eye you know i have my lid i have my face area and all of that but if you have mono lids you know a mono lid is an eye shape where you do not have space on you do not see your mobile lid like you do not see the space on top of your lid then most most often those eye shapes are often smaller you know so you might need smaller brushes but for people that have like my eye shape then you can actually go with these brushes I'm going to be mentioning to you right now okay the first brush i have right here is called a blending brush now the name from the name alone you already know what it means a blending brush you use it to blend things in and why do you blend to make the things look seamless okay now this brush is the white glam beauty eye essential brush 107 i really do love this brush a lot now for those of you who have other brushes that look like this it's a blending brush like this it's pinched in right here at the ferrule you know i try to put this brush instead of one other one i really love because um because it's pinched in you can actually go vertically or horizontally okay now if you do not have this brush morphe has a brush that looks like this that is actually my favorite but i don't know have it handy right here because i've been using this um, for the past few days um morphe has one the morphe m433 brush it's actually um, a similar brush delium tools has one the delium 776 brush sigma has one that looks like this the sigma e25 um, mac has one that looks like this the mac 217 um sedona list has one that looks like this um i think it's the eb09 i'm sure there are other brands out there that have brushes brushes that look like this um yeah that reminds me vita joseph has a brush that looks like this the um crease definer or something like that i own that brush but i'm not really seeing it in a while um i'm going to put all the names in the description box down below brushes that look like this blending brushes that you might need i'll just write it this or this or this or this or this or this you know so that you know that they're all one and the same brush okay so you need a blending brush like this this is the first brush you'll be needing for our eye makeup tutorial okay the second brush you are going to be needing for this eye makeup tutorial is a shader brush this is called a shader brush what is a shader brush used for a shader brush is used to apply product on the lid typically that is traditional use of a shader brush to apply shadow on the lid this brush however because we have so few we just have six brushes it's going to be doing multiple jobs for us um we're going to be using this brush to apply shadow on the lid we're going to be using this brush to apply um shadow underneath our brow bone we are going to be using this brush to apply shadows in the inner corners of our eyes we're going to be using this brush for a whole lot of purposes so you need a shader brush this one right here is from a brand called royal cosmetics connection and it's called the eye shadow brush i actually got those brushes from phil hallmark at benin um, I, got, I got them a couple of years ago. I don't know if they are still being sold there, but they were actually quite affordable. Um, the White Glam 12 piece essential brush set also has um, a shader brush that looks like this. Now, why do I pick this shader brush? I picked this shader brush because um, I love brush heads that are colored like this, they are able to work with both matte and shimmer shadows because we are going to be working with several of those shadows the types of shadows so this is just like an all-purpose brush a shader brush you're going to be needing a shader brush that looks like this and mind you this brush is not extremely firm 
okay if you look at it it has some give to it it's not like really firm and straight okay it has some give to it which will help you know in proper placement of the shadows and in you know being able to blend and move the shadows properly okay so when getting a brush get a brush that has that's small like this not very wide but big you know that can help with precise placement and also get a brush that has some give to it okay that is not like extremely firm and you know strong in a way if you get what i'm saying okay <laughs> The third brush that we're going to be needing for this our eye makeup tutorial is called a pencil brush. Now, this pencil brush I have here is the Morphe E36 brush. It looks just like this. Okay. This brush we are going to be using for smoking out our lower lash line for applying color on the outer V of our eyes. You know for even placement of color in our crease for blending out our cut crease Think sigma has a brush like this the e30 pencil brush um some other brands should have pencil brushes like this you know even these more generic brands should have pencil brushes like this so just look around and any brush you see that like this is round all around it's not pinched in at the ferrule it's just all the way around and it's pretty small so you get a brush like this and it will work wonders for you okay the fourth brush in our brush series today is a dual brush that looks like this as you can see it has a spoolie on one end and it has an angled brush on the other end this brush actually is the elf eyebrow dual brush it's a turn one brush and this brush is very very useful for the eyebrow the eye tutorial is going to cover the eyebrow and we know that like eyebrows once the eyebrows are, are off your total look is off so you're gonna need this for the eyebrow we're also going to need this because it's actually good for removing clumps of mascara from the lashes the upper lash line you know the upper lashes sorry and the lower lashes um these parts can be used for placing um gel brow gel on your eyebrows and this part for brushing through the brows to make it look you know more natural and fluffy so you're going to be needing a brush that looks like this now if you can cannot get a single brush that looks like this there are brushes that come with just the spoolie part or just the angled part and um, that will mean you getting more brushes you know so it will just be easier to get this but then you can actually get those two brushes um this one is more handy you know you just turn it around flip it around like this and it gets the job done pretty much okay so this is the fourth brush that we are going to be needing in our eye makeup series okay now the fifth brush we're going to be needing is a concealer brush now i personally and typically prefer brushes that are like this for concealer that are a little bit curved around the top of the brush um some people prefer those flat brushes it doesn't really do it for me i actually prefer brushes that have a bit of a curve to it this is called a concealer brush now what are we going to use this brush for this brush can be used to clean up the eyebrow can be used um, to apply eyeshadow primer all over the lid it can be used to cut the crease it can even be used to apply pigment you know this brush comes in handy it's going to be doing a whole lot of things this brush right here is actually the morphe m421 brush um it looks like this now there is a generic brush like this i actually found at the market the other day you know generic bobby brown you are based in nigeria you know what i mean those brown handled brushes generic bobby brown brushes that are cheap they're very dirty cheap um you can just go look for one as small as this um they really do not have names on it the one i saw that they did not have any name on it um they just wrote bobby brown also it did not have any name we just know they are fakes and knockoffs but um well they're generic brushes there are some other brush lines that have brushes that look similar to this just go into the shops and then look for brushes that have this shape and get you one of them this brush is going to come in handy i don't be needing this brush i'm just showing you brushes that i know i cannot do my eye makeup without these are brushes that are 
very very necessary for this eye look okay now the last brush that we are going to be needing in this series is actually a brush like this it can be any brush it looks so similar to the first brush i showed you earlier <laughs> but this is going to be our blank brush okay now at times you might see me with different types of brushes like this it might be a you know a white head brush it might be maybe a coffee brown ferrule or something but just know that it is the same brush it does the same purpose now what's a blank brush a blank brush is a brush that we just keep aside to do certain things for us traditionally a blank a blank brush sorry beg your pardon eh, I, can't, I can't talk to you <laughs> Traditionally, a blank brush is a brush that you just keep on the side. You don't add any product to it, and <clears throat> and you just use it to blend your makeup in together to look seamless and look well blended. But to me, I always have a blank brush handy. What do I use it for? I use this blank brush to clean or blend out the concealer. From underneath and on top of my eyebrow I will tell you why in a subsequent video I use this blank brush most times also to set um, underneath my brow bone I always have a tissue, tissue paper with me whenever I'm doing my makeup I wipe it on it I also use it to blend like if I feel like um, the color I have in my crease is too harsh I use this brush, this brush to blend it out now these things I'm saying might just sound you know it's too advanced to you like okay we're going to break it down in subsequent videos but i'm just telling you what this brush will be used for when we eventually start using the brush and why you need the brush okay so this you can actually do without it that's why i said five plus one but a blank brush like this is also very very important now as we progress you know further down the line and much later you might want to incorporate one or two other brushes but for our eye makeup tutorial, these are the brushes that you're going to be needing. Um, please try and lay your hands on them. Try and get as much of them as you can. So that subsequently when we're doing our tutorials, um, you can follow through, you know, and you know, practice with you know, the, the steps and techniques I'll be showing you and see what you come up with. And I really, really love it, you know, down the line, if you tag me on on a you no know, just comment not even tag me you can follow me on instagram i'm on instagram at iv underscore makeover or you just type in ivy ludovic you, know, you can tag me like i got my brushes i'm ready for this i will really be so happy to see such comments that i know that you know you are like really 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 ready for this okay this brings us to the end of today's video once again recapping these are the five plus one makeup brushes that you are going to be needing for our beginner's eye tutorial 101 okay so once more look at the brushes properly these are the brushes that you will be needing to be able to get majority of the eye looks some of the eye looks that we might graduate into might become more complex and you know you might have to get one or two other brushes but for now for you just to, to be able to do the basics with these brushes you can do anything you want to do you can get any eye look you want to get okay so guys you know take a final look at the brushes that you'll be needing all right <laughs> i hope um you found this video quite helpful i hope this video was impactful um i hope you are eager to get along with me on this ride um i hope you you subscribe though to this channel of mine okay uh, we're on this journey together so as you are watching the video just be subscribing down below okay let's let's move on this journey together okay <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my very next video bye guys